Howdy on and welcome to Finland with Depressive Black Metal album. This is in fact a sort of kind of a remake of an album from 2014. The band in question is Kalman Kantaja and the album here is Ahdistus but with now MMXXI, that is 2021. Now this release is obviously a 2022 release but you know uh, it's still basically the original album from 2014 now just with you know, remade, now with uh, colorful covers and uh, a little bit different overall. I'm um, obscuring certain elements of the picture so you don't get shocked in the world of uh, metal music. But here you have all the lyrics, uh, all the content now in colors versus the previous black and white version. And um, this is, in my opinion, better version of these two albums or the one and one and two albums so quick recap Kalman Kanta started about 11 years ago and since that it has been very very active almost like the Finnish version of Stryborg Stryborg from Australia or well oceanic area anyway with its album I mean the amount of albums coming like there is like huge with all the singles EPs compilations or whatever sometimes like multiple albums a year what this is this 2014 four albums anyway the thing here is where it started as depressive black metal later on turned to atmospheric black metal and in my opinion in a lot better ways because latest Kalman Kantaya albums have been a lot better than their early works and I must say back in the days Ahdistu's album when it came to 2014 it had all these moments but horrible production and useless end track now this new version is actually has gotten rid of that ending track so instead of 50 minutes and five tracks there is now 39 minutes roughly and only four tracks so the the instrumental track that acted as like a lengthy outro to that album has been gotten rid of thankfully and now the focus is on uh, only with this you know more metallic and uh, well the actual tracks with vocals and everything and uh, as such, it feels like a little bit of an improvement. First of all, the production is now pretty good, especially for this kind of music. So it now supports it rather than annoys the listener the shit out of uh, all that. And um, also, um, you know, how the uh, songs have been a little bit changed. I mean, they're not identical, even though roughly the length is pretty much there. So it's a little bit like a step up from the previous version of the album usually these kind of reissues well remakes more like are not taken with such a welcome and began i mean if you like the original version doesn't matter whether you're talking about men or demo Borger having their albums remade people might feel like okay these are useless like now you're ruining the version i don't know about them i feel like this is actually a little bit better than the previous ones not only because of the production but because now it more it's more quality over the whole length, especially because the last track, the useless one, has been removed. So it's more compact, right to the point, you know, serving the whole purpose way better. Um, an interesting idea to do it because the style has changed. But in my opinion, this is a pretty decent one. So if you haven't heard the original one, don't even bother, but go with this one. And if you like, the newer style this might be a little bit different but still worth giving a shot a melodic depressive melancholic black metal with lengthy tracks that's it and uh yeah give it a shot you will find links in the description box see you soon with more stuff coming your way